Move the scaffolding. How am I supposed to do that? It's like way too heavy. Judging by the layout of this place, I'd say the power station must be over in that area. Stay there. You go. Okay, so, like, what am I looking for? Power station. Look for doors. Hmm. Nothing here. Yeah, cause Jurassic Park is all about safety. <sighs> Dad, I found doors! Is this the power thingy? That looks like it. Open them up and throw the main switch. Are locked. Well, I don't have a key. That's cool. I'll just bust the windows. This should get me into those doors. Awesome! Okay, I, I can reach inside, but what am I looking for? Jess, there are two large switches inside, but you probably won't be able to reach them like that. Hey, looks like the crane is functional. Good. Now do something useful with it. Jess, be careful. What are you doing with that hook? I've got a plan. You're gonna love this. Okay, Dad. Your turn. Everyone get back. Awesome. Okay, that's one. Like we have power. Whoa, cool. Okay, come on back. What's that? I don't know. Predators. They're still too far away for me to tell which ones, thank goodness. Not a T Rex, though, right? Definitely not a T Rex. Attach it to the scaffolding. We can use the crane to lift it off the tracks. Stand back, Jess. Da. 
That's how they pick cars. I can't fit any more cars in the track. I'll have to move some off first. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Right? Hey, the cars are all on the loading track. Now it's up to you. What are you gonna do if the rescue team shows up? What? I mean, they probably heard that noise. Let's not worry about the rescue team right now. Okay, these these are the main controls for the roller coaster. I should be able to set it to maintenance mode from here. Well, that ought to do it. The ride should stop and let us out at the maintenance exit, instead of doing the normal loop. Whoa. Well, that's it. Since the ride is in maintenance mode, it should be safe. It won't go very fast. Come on. The sooner we get to the coast, the sooner this will all be over. Hang on. This is gonna be a short trip. Thank you. 
We go for a little ride. Please, don't say ride. So what did you call those things that were chasing you? Hairy sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Denny? Decaf! You take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. H-U-121, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. It's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Danny's and it's Jude. I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never. Decaf is M.I.A. M.I.A. M.I.A.? No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Billy, you feel that? We've already lost Bravo team, and, 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 and... Billy! We are not leaving without decaf. I mean, we agree, right? Oh, man. I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. At ease! We've got a situation here. Inside the chopper. Now! Oscar, I've got no power. I'm on it. Look, we gotta get out of here, now! I know, I'm working on it. Try it now. Sorkin and her assistant! Then we get the hell out of here! What about Decaf? Decaf's dead. I like your tattoos. Why don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? The gravestones are for the people who died beside him. The skulls are for the people who died because of him. 
Capella. Where are you gonna put decaf tombstone? You running out of room. What did you say? Hey, come on. It's been a long day and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar... You know, I've seen Oscar knock out someone's teeth for a lot less. When I say teeth, I mean face. Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of killers? Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Oh, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the company of killers! Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy? This is what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Speaking of jokes, Oscar, tell the one about the priest, the stripper, and the bucket of frogs. <laughs> Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see at all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, boy. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo. On my I'm ankle. gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those skulls of yours. Quiet. Then we'll see hey. how proud you Listen, are of them. There's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Bring the kids. Fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some... complications. Who are you? Pleased to meet you, Dr. Sorkin. InGen hired us to get everyone off this island. I'm Billy Yoder, and this is- Look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the Predators. I'm perfectly safe, and I don't need saving. That's not a good idea, ma'am. But, since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic InGen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. You heard the lady. Hey, can I help? Sure, why the hell not? Well, geez, don't be so excited about it. Yeah, you're right. This is a big deal. I should be throwing a box-moving party. Thanks for coming to rescue us. It's what I do. That and moving people's stuff around. I could use a few good marks in my employee file. It's been a rough year. I know, right? I almost got suspended for skipping class too much. Mom would have killed me. <laughs> well, we all got problems. Are you serious? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me. If we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charmer. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. 
Hey, can I bum one of those? Okay. 